Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com and this is your new shot. So, governmentslaves.com, govtslaves.com. What a great site and what a great uh, piece they just came out with. Bookmark this. It says, over 400 links Google doesn't want you to visit. Now, I for one am absolutely thrilled anytime I see websites that go above and beyond trying to um, kind of network with other independent media sites or, you know, perhaps a citizen activist, somebody out there that takes it upon themselves to aggregate a bunch of sites or links and get it out to the, get it out to the masses. Oftentimes it's nice to have that one uh, bookmark that you can go to and boom, you've got just, you know, a ton of different links to go to, to reference, maybe to get your news or information. Well, uh, government slaves did a great job of aggregating some of this and they, they wrote a pretty good piece to boot. It says the war on truth has reached a fever pitch as Google has made it their mission to annihilate the independent media. The new media led by the likes of Infowars and Breitbart, Natural News and many other great independent sites will have an uphill battle when it comes to getting their content in front of readers. Google has announced that they will be doubling down their Orwellian practice of making stories disappear from their monolith, monopolistic search engine outlined in their Gestapo-like 160-page handbook Google describes exactly how they plan to suppress any information deemed unfit for readers. Highlighted at the bottom of page 108, Google states, quote, pages that directly contradict well-established scientific or medical consensus for queries seeking scientific or medical information unless the query indicates the user is seeking an alternative viewpoint. Or pages that directly contradict well-established historical facts. <clears throat> e.g. unsubstantiated conspiracy theories, unless the query clearly indicates the user is seeking an alternative viewpoint. These two guidelines provided by Google should set off alarm bells to anyone who had a thirst for knowledge of anything uh, outside of the status quo because you're not going to get it. Imagine only being able to see and hear the corporate narrative on such important issues like vaccines and 9-11 and holistic health and, you know, the Kennedy assassination, things like that, banking alternatives, the history of banking even, all of that stuff. You're not going to get the truth. You're not going to get <clears throat> alternative viewpoints to the status quo unless you use alternative modes of searching because Google will not allow it. This information is also put out over at True Stream Media, if you go to their YouTube ch channel, uh, they did a, a, a video a while back, Aaron and Melissa Dykes. It's official. This is straight out of Orwell's 1984. And they kind of go into depth about what this 160-page um, edit or new addition to the Google's rules and regulations for what is acceptable and what's not. You know, their new speak um, book, if you will. And as bad as this sounds, there's a bright side. It says we have a solution, people. We just have to break the habit of being slaves to the Google regime. And uh, first, we stop using Google altogether and start using some great alternatives out there like Good Gopher and DuckDuckGo and Yandex and SearchX.me and Quant. The second and most important thing we do is go old school and start bookmarking sites again. This will cut down on the middleman your Googles and your search engines and enable you to get great information from thousands of independent journalists that Google tries to suppress. And so if you bookmark this site, this page right here, and I'll put it in the description box of this video, you will have 400 different independent media sites dedicated to things like news and politics, holistic health, the economy, science and tech, all of that kind of stuff. International news, surviving and prepping, guns, forums, link aggregators, you name it. It's on this page. And bookmark it and use it instead of using Google. And soon, if enough people can do this, we can totally bypass 
the Google-like, Gestapo-like censorship and start supporting each other independently or independent of Google, which in this day and age is kind of hard to do, but certainly not impossible. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's new shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day.